Hello everyone, this is unit 5 which is entitled You Should Go to the Police. In this unit you will find several important topics to be discussed. That's why the unit has been divided into three powerpoints as it is illustrated, unit 5A, unit 5B and unit 5C. In unit 5A, which is entitled You Should Go to the Police, one can sense that there is something which has either been stolen or, or missed. So. In slide number two and uh, even slide number three, we have two different situations. I want you to put yourself in these situations and tell me exactly what would you do if you were in such situations. The first situation is what? You are lost in a strange city. Which of the following would you do? Take them. Buy a map, ask someone in a shop, find a friend, ask a policeman, keep walking or others. In situation two, you left your wallet on a train when you were abroad. Which of the following would you do? Take them. Phone the railway station, go to the police station, go to your embassy, phone your insurance company, phone your family or others. Here I give you some dialogues. Students, from the very beginning I'm telling you, you are not required to learn any of these dialogues by heart, but these dialogues are put here in order to show you the nature of the conversation, how the dialogue begins, develops, and ends. So I want you to pay attention to these three points of any dialogue, beginning, development, and ending. So that when I ask you to write your own dialogue or develop your own dialogue, you know how to start, how to develop the idea, and how to end it. So in this dialogue, we have got a conversation between two persons, a traveler and someone who is working uh, at the um, railway station or let's say airport whatever the dialogue starts I can't find my purse what was in your purse it contained my wallet and passport how much money was in your wallet it was about 200 in my wallet 200 dollars in my wallet and I have some travelers checks in there too we can call American Express to deal with the travelers checks how about credit cards I had a master card and a visa card. We can look at the back of my cars to get the emergency phone numbers. Where do I report that my passport is missing? We need to take a cab to the embassy to report that right, right away. They will help us. In the second dialogue, we have also a conversation between two persons. Again, we have a traveler and someone who is working at the airport, if I'm not mistaken. The dialogue begins. What may I help you with? I need to file a complaint. What's your complaint about? I got robbed. When did this happen? It happened this morning. What was taken? My wallet and cell phone. Did you get a good look at the person who robbed you? Sure I did. Would you be able to pick him out of a lineup? That shouldn't be a problem. In dialogue 3, again we have what? A conversation between somebody who is working at the airport and a traveler. Hello, Portland Airport, lost and found. Hello, I was a passenger on Sanko Airlines flight yesterday and I think I left my keys on the plane. I see. To claim the item, you have to fill out a claim form. What did you lose again? Some luggage? You will need your claim receipt to get your luggage. No, I lost some keys on the airplane. Keys? I think I left them on my seat. Is it possible to find out if anyone has turned them in to your office? I don't know. Can you describe them? Well, they are on a keychain and there are eight keys on it, including a car key. Was there anything distinctive about the keychain? You will need to prove ownership if you want to claim them. No, it's a plain key ring. Maybe I should come down to the office to see if I can identify them. What happens to the property that's unclaimed? We keep it for 30 days and then we dispose of it. Don't worry, we do not have a policy of finders keepers. If you lost some luggage, it will turn up. No, I lost some keys. Keys. Never mind, I'm coming down right now. That's a good idea. It's easier to pick up your lost luggage than for us to send it. 
Here we have what some points to discuss. So instead of let's say asking you to write your own dialogue, I might uh, ask you or give you some situations and ask you to uh, tell me exactly what are you going to do if you were put or what would you do if you were put in such situations. For instance, if you lose something, what would you usually do? Do you intend to get it back? Where might you ask or go for this? Have you heard of any unusual stories about missing items? What are the things that are usually lost? Has an airline ever lost a piece of your luggage? Can you describe your luggage, sir? Is there anything distinctive about your bag? See, such a questions um, are, uh, directly or let's say typically reflect what reflect the idea of there is something missing, something stolen. Okay. Now, the second important topic, and away from describing something or let's say reporting that something has been missed, not describing, we have what the second important topic we said is avoiding repetition. Sometimes people leave up words or drop up words because of, uh, let's say, um, because it's not, I mean, it's not necessary to repeat them. So here we have some reasons why people uh, avoid uh, or leave off some words. Is it because they are lazy and do not want to repeat information? Is it uh, because uh, it is not necessary to repeat information? Uh, is it because they do not want or what to say? Or because it helps the conversation move naturally? Of course, the last, let's say, option, the last reason is the correct one. Let's have some examples about how to avoid repetition. Did you get it back? No, I didn't. This is highly preferable in conversation, short answer, and instead of saying, no, I didn't get it back. Well, I'm free now. Are you free? Or you can say, are you? Do you like to join me to the park? Yes, I would like to. Or you can say simply, yes. Instead of saying, yes, I would like to join you to the park. So try to avoid long answers in, uh, let's say, daily conversation. Do you send the letters to the boss? Yes, I did. I haven't bought a present to her, have you? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. See? Try to avoid repetition. Try to leave out some words, okay, if you want to sound natural and um, to, um, to get the conversation get smoother. Here we have what, some other points to discuss and remember. And I'll give you here situations and I ask you to answer these, okay, to answer these questions or let's say describe these situations and try to remember that um, uh, the idea or the rule of leaving out unnecessary words. How was your weekend? You can simply say what? Good. It was good. Instead of saying it was good or oh, my weekend was good, you can say good. What was the last movie you saw? Titanic. And instead of saying what? The last movie I saw was Titanic. What was it like? Oh, it was terrific. Beautiful. What did you last go on holiday? Last week? Who did you go with? My parents. Do you have good, a good time? Yes, I did. Okay, all these short answers reflect what? Reflect the way uh, people live out certain words. So I might what? I might ask you to answer certain questions or I might give you questions or situations and ask you to describe them using or applying the rule of what? Um, leaving out some, some uh, words. Um, the, this is a list of references if you need to go directly to the, I mean, um, to the website. Uh, thank you very much for watching and listening.